Welcome back to CNN News with Emic, Brian, and Nathan. Hello, and welcome to CNN News. My name is Brian Hope. And this is Emic Ishinok. In 2011, a series of natural disasters led to several explosions within the Fukushima nuclear reactor site. <clears throat> in the following years, new light has been shed on the consequences of Fukushima's radioactive waste. We now have evidence of a discarded radioactive capsule. Let's take it over live to Nathan on, who is active at the sea. Yes, Fukushima has been a huge accident that has, been, that has impacted the lives of many. Today, we are live at the scene, at the Fukushima nuclear plant. Today we are with the specialist, the radioactive specialist, Adam Pham. So, Professor Pham, what is that exactly in your hand? This is a radioactive isotope known as uranium-252. It's pretty hot. It's bringing out, it's, uh, bringing out some serious heat. Well, that's because it is giving off radiation in the form of heat. This has a half-life of over 4.47 billion years. That's a lot. Well, is it safe to touch? Well, actually, if you hold it in your hand for over 30 minutes, you could die. You could hold this again. <laughs> Alright. And then, so do you know that the thing you're holding in your hand is affecting the lives of millions in this world? Oh, well, yes I do. But some companies such as TEPCO have actually been researching ways on how to take care of this problem. For example, they have made containers that can contain these radioactive waste for long periods of time. The real problem is actually where and how will we contain it and how will we make sure it does not release into the environment. So has the government done anything to help the people out? Yes, as soon as the Fukushima explosion occurred, the government immediately issued an evacuation within 10 kilometers. Yasu also issued iodine pills for everyone to avoid thyroid cancer. So we are now going to interview some passerbys in this area and see what they think of the serious issue. Sir! Excuse me, sir. Can we, can we talk to you, Help. sir? Sir, do you want to interview Help. on this nuclear accident? Sir. Help. Sir. I don't want any interviews! Okay, so we have caught up with the passerby. Sir, what is your name? Isaac Hinton. Isaac Hinton. So, how does this radiation issue affect you and your family? Uh, I'm afraid me and my family are going to suffer from thyroid cancer. Thyroid cancer. That's a serious issue with all families. Um, do you think the government is taking enough measures to protect the people around in this area? I think the government should have been in more control of the problem. How so? Uh, evacuation should have started earlier to ensure everyone was at the fullest of safety. Okay, thank you sir. The Fukushima accident has been characterized as a level 7 accident, the same as Chernobyl. Efforts to clean up highly contaminated areas are generally failing because melting snow and rainwater run off the contaminated hills and return to recontaminate homes and land. In addition to its effects on land, the Fukushima disaster produced the largest discharge of radioactive material in the ocean. Professor Pham, do you have anything else to say about this issue? I think that the situation is now under control, but I do believe that it should be monitored very carefully. Back to you, David and Brian. There you have it, folks. Thanks for watching CNN News, and we'll see you next time. Wait. Professor Fan has been taken to the hospital and is in critical condition due to high levels of radiation. <gasps> Stay away from radiation, folks.